Hey guys, David here. Welcome to Digital Outlook, where you're going to find the best community in all of crypto. In today's video, it's going to happen when you least expect it. So guys, without further ado, why don't we get to it? So guys, if you've been in this space for any time at all, one thing that you've probably figured out by now is that most people have an opinion on when something is about to happen. And in a lot of those cases, the majority is absolutely wrong. I mean, just take a look at last week when we saw Bitcoin at what, 19,000, something like that. I was reading uh, messages and notes from people and Twitter feeds and all this. Hey, here it comes. I told you we're going to go down to 12,000. It's on the way. It's on the way. And then what happens, guys? The very next week, here we are at twenty-five, twenty-six thousand dollars and that just seems to be the way it always goes in this space I've been around a long time and I have seen all kinds of these things happen and I'll tell you what the biggest one that I've watched happen is XRP you guessed it XRP has been notorious for just kind of tinkering along and looking like it's doing nothing. And in fact, when everything else is popping up and moving, you got XRP just kind of sitting there by the sidelines and are like, are you ever going to come out here and play the game? And then one day, guys, bam, it just takes off like a rocket ship and it is gone. And I mean long gone. And by that time, by the time people actually wake up to its potential, it's way, way too late. And I'm telling you what, I can feel it right deep down in my bones that that's what we're going to get. Look, guys, a lot of people are expecting that Ripple's probably going to end up getting some kind of loss in this case. Could be the exact opposite. They could come out and they could win like absolutely no tomorrow. And if they do, I'm telling you what, you're going to watch the price of XRP skyrocket up so fast. It is going to leave people literally in the dust with their mouths hanging open and why is that guys because look xrp has been demonstrated to be one of the strongest digital assets in this entire space now imagine this imagine any other asset in this space being shut out of the world's largest market economy and that's right america north america be shut out of almost every exchange and yet, during that entire time, do you realize something? XRP and has stayed within the top 10 of market cap for every single digital asset out there. Can you believe that? I mean, when you consider that only one exchange in the United States has been carrying XRP this entire time, and yet it is still and never even once left the top 10. Boy, I'm telling you, that says absolute volumes. Now, I have seen it. I have been there to watch XRP just kind of tinker along, tinker along, and do absolutely look like nothing. All of a sudden, to bam, just fire off like that and go from what, 17 and a half cents up to a dollar 97. And then we just, all we have to do is just take a look at historical charts, right? And we can see that it's done it before and again and again and again. And it just seems to operate like that, which is absolutely mesmerizing. And of course, it tests the patience of most investors. And then those that are all just speculating and poo-pooing it because, of course, hey, you got their favorites, you know, the Bitcoin maxis and all the big time Ethereum guys that just cannot stand the fact that Ripple is a superior technology in both instances. Well, what do they do? They come out, they spam the channel, they come out, they do all kinds of stuff to kind of poo-poo it. In fact, way back in the early days, do you realize that there were people that were actually paid to go out there and post all kinds of Reddit posts and all kinds of negativity against Ripple way back in the beginning. I mean, they were actually paid to do it, paid trolls, and it really went on. And the thing is, guys, that culture has just continued, 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 which is truly mesmerizing because when you look at it, 
You can see the utility and the use case. It is second to none. And in fact, just like I was saying in yesterday's video, XRP is the solution for this global liquidity crisis like we're watching right now and this entire implosion of the banking system. It was designed for that. It was designed to be a solution to those types of situations. Yet here we are literally with the solution in our very hands and you're watching all kinds of people just diss it, diss it, diss it as much as possible. I'm telling you what guys, day's gonna come, one of these days when it's gonna fire off and it's going to leave people in disbelief. Do you realize that in the last bull run, the 2017 bull run, that XRP skyrocketed over 100,000%? I mean, that is mind boggling. And if it wasn't for the SEC lawsuit in this last one, many folks believe that we would have saw tens and thousands of percent out of XRP in the last one. It certainly would have blown away its previous all-time high at $3.84 and more than likely would have traveled above $10, probably even around $13 to $14. But with the lawsuit on it, guys, still went from 17 and a half cents, in fact, 17.48, to what, $1.97, an 1,100% return. And guess what, guys? It did it in four months, just four months. And for those folks that are out there thinking, they can see the handwriting on the wall. They know what's going down. And XRP is not going to be anything. And on and on, I've heard a thousand and one reasons and all this kind of stuff. I'm telling you, when it happens, that'll be the day when they just sit there in absolute disbelief, realizing that they missed out on probably one of the greatest opportunities of their lifetime due to what guys their absolute bias and prejudice and really it is a shame because when you think of it in this space we're all in this together we're all supporting this digital asset space because of what we know it's going to be we know that it's distributed ledger technology that is going to change the entire way in which the world absolutely operates not just our finances guys but look it's going to operate with respect to our health care our education with respect to our identification and the, and the registration of our real property and other property and the proof of ownership. It's going to take all these things in. And we know that there are going to be a number of shared applications. Look, even among the ISO tokens, hey, you've got what? Hedera Hashgraph out there, Algorand out there, Quant, big one, Quant. You've got XLM, of course you've got XDC, and yes, XRP. But even outside of that, there's going to be room for Cardano. There's going to be room for VeChain, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. Yes, there's probably going to be a good basket. I'm guessing after all the death settles, we'll probably see 30 to 50 have the lion's share of the way in which this world moves information, moves value, moves, you know, all kinds of uh, data and property and on and on and on. And it's probably going to be out there and there's lots of room but guys having said that what are we doing as a community well it looks like we're just fighting just for our desire to be right over our desire to profit which is absolutely mesmerizing in my way of thinking i mean just take a look at the utility guys long-term utility and how it's being applied and what's going on in the world right now today remember real world utility is the first thing on my filter list next is the management team of course strategic partnerships and price action but all you've really got to do if you could only use one of those real world utility has to be the biggest and what do you see when you look at this ecosystem for xrp you see one of the best use cases and real world utilities that there is in this entire digital asset space and it's that alone i mean look at ripple as a corporation Forget about the XRP ecosystem, but just Ripple as a corporation. What, a $15 billion unicorn? Not even IPO'd and worth $15 billion. Why? Because guys, they're out there solving real world problems. Now, yeah, there's going to be some out there that aren't going to like it because they just don't like Ripple. They just don't like XRP. But that doesn't change the fact that the utility of this ecosystem is absolutely massive. 
And what else is going on? Well, you're watching the expansion of this entire ecosystem in exponential ways, literally all around the globe. We see it in the Middle East and North Africa. We're seeing it in Europe. We're seeing it in South America. We're seeing it in Asia. We're seeing it here, even at home, with, in, with in fact, Ripple working on the digital dollar project. I mean, come on. You cannot make this stuff up. It is really happening in one day. You're going to literally see it. And I'm telling you, it is going to happen. It's going to look like it came out of absolute nowhere. It's going to blow people completely away. And there are going to be people like there were back in 2017. And even in the last bull run in 2020 and 2021, there are people who actually gave up on XRP. I've even talked to them. They've literally talked to me and said, yeah, I gave up on it. And then just after I gave up on it, bang, it just went way up. It's like, you know, spending five years of your life digging a hole into a gold mine and giving up when you're only like one foot away from hitting the mother load. And that has literally happened where people were literally losing patience and it was tinkering along, tinkering along, you know, 17, 20 cents, this, this, that. And then they just said, ah, forget it. Sold out of it, got into something else. And right after that, bam, what did it do? Massive, massive percentage gains. And it happens so, so fast. And when people just don't expect it, guys, your confidence can't come based on the price action. Your confidence has to come based on the utility, based on the ecosystem. And that's what I say. Hey, look, forget about price. Put all the others in there. Take a look at the utility, the real world utility. Take a look at who's in the management team. I mean, heck, you got Rosie Rios on the board there. You literally can pull money out of your pocket and find her signature on it. That is unbelievable. That is massive. And all the other people that are on that board with the acumen that they're bringing and then the strategic partnerships guys you got nation states we're not just talking about oh another company over here another company no literally countries are signing on with ripple to help them develop their central bank digital currencies i mean if that doesn't give you enough confidence i really don't know what will but a day is going to come i'll tell you what when you are literally going to see this thing absolutely blow off tops and it's going to cause people to literally stand in awe and grown men are gonna weep but i'll tell you what guys for me i'm absolutely convinced i'm holding on i'm waiting for it and i'm accumulating until the point where we absolutely see it and boy i'll tell you what i want to see you right there in the winner's circle with me let's just take a few seconds to talk about our coaching program for those who don't know with this market heating up it is going to be vitally important that you have your plan in place and what our coaching program is that is where you and i can meet personally one-on-one -on -one for one hour over zoom and during that time i share with you our personal journey in that last bull run and what enabled judy and i to experience some amazing financial gains i share with you the mistakes we made so that you don't have to fall into the same pitfalls we did we take a look at your portfolio portfolio and make sure that it's balanced towards your goals and we work together to develop your exit strategy we can even help you get your assets off an exchange and onto a hardware wallet along with delivering to you some amazing techniques that will really help you in this space now the cost of that is 250 dollars and if that's something that interests you you write me right there at coaching at the digitaloutlook.com and we'll get you all booked in so guys, this is the video I have for you today. And as always, I truly hope that you enjoyed it. Now, I want to invite you to join the conversation and drop your comments right down there in the comments section. Open it up to the community and start a discussion. Now, many of you know I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. But if you found value in it, if you'd hit that like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And hey, don't forget to hit the notification bell down there because as you know, in this space, things change lickety split. And I like to get that information out to you as soon as possible. And on top of that, I don't want you missing out on any of our regularly released videos. Now, if you're one of the thousands of people who have been watching these videos, but you haven't yet subscribed, would you do the channel a favor and join this community? We would really love to have you on board. So in the meantime, and in between time, stay safe. Be blessed, and I'll catch you in the next one.